Ultimate Guide Everything you need to know about A-League GFTEAM of the season, Shock Picks and Fox Sports TOTSB YLD Up, O'Donovan's Grand Final Warning, Barisha on Brink Grand Final Butte as Teams 2 and 4 at the end of the regular season prepare to duel, there is a remarkable amount of compelling storylines and are writing the drama we've come to expect from the big dance. Listen, A-League, UCL GF Previews, The Splash Podcast and the Newcastle Jets, the A-League has found a uniting underdog tale and one which could be granted the ultimate ending should they lift the trophy on Saturday afternoon. From the wooden spoon last season to the grand final in 12 short months, should they tick it out, the Novocastrians will become the first side in any Aussie sporting code to ever achieve a feat. Hoping to prevent the unlikely first, Melbourne victory will line up raring to avenge their agonizing penalty shootout loss to Sydney FC in last year's decider and in doing so would become the most successful A-League club in terms of championships won. With four, McDonald Jones Stadium will play host to the epic encounter, the first of any major code to be played in a regional town, as the home side look to ride a record crowd of local support to their second title. Jets fans clap in unison during the A-League semi-final match between the Newcastle Jets and Melbourne City source, app casting your eye across the dugouts, the protege has become the nemesis as Kevin Muscat goes head-to-head -head with his ex-mentor Ernie Merrick. Merrick has two golden toilet seats to his name, both with the victory and with a certain K Muscat marshalling proceedings as captain in the heart of defense. Amongst the victory ranks lies a wealth of grand final experience, not to mention the big game prowess of Basart Barisha, who, with a single strike on Saturday evening, can become the most prolific goal scorer in a league grand final history. Sweetening the drama, the Jets boast a pair of players who themselves have lined up in the navy blue of the A-League's serial grand final attendees. Last year's Joe Marston medalist Daniel Georgievsky will take on his ex side as will stand in keeper Glenn Moss. Moss will replace no. One Jack Duncan between the sticks after his injury in the semi-final, while Reese Williams will miss out for the victory after picking up an injury in the warm-up for the semi-final Big Blue. Chance creation kings Leroy George and Dimitri Petratos come face-to-face, -face, and shape as the key attacking protagonists with goals expected in this matchup. Riley McGree of the Jets scores a second-half goal from its Scorpion kick during the A-League semi-final source, Op Victory have been involved in five A-League grand finals in the past winning three while the other two went to penalties, as such we've come to expect sheer entertainment when they take part in the final match of the season. The Jets' sole appearance came a decade ago and ended in the hoisting of the trophy, their return to the big dance marks the end of the longest drought between appearances the league has seen. How will Riley McGree follow up his globally acclaimed scorpion kick? Can Terry Antonis prove the match winner again? There's so many questions surrounding the A-League's showpiece match, the answers to which will write the script for one epic grand final. Jets ultimate fairy tale it's the remarkable turnaround that has football fans everywhere captivated. And on Saturday night, the Jets can end their fairy tale resurgence on the ultimate high. Built by CEO Laurie McKenna, head of football Joel Griffiths and coach Ernie Merrick, this Jets side have taken the A-League by storm, going from cellar dwellers to serious contenders in the space of months. Joey Champness of the Jets celebrates the win with fan source, Getty Images with an attack-oriented game plan built around hard-working players as well as a community-first approach, the Jets have earned massive plaudits and endeared themselves to the public. As they take on the victory, they'll be cheered on by a massive home crowd raring for them to rewrite the record books and become the first side in any Aussie sport to go from bottom to top. After the turmoil of seven seasons without finals football and two wooden spoons, that winning feeling has returned to the hunter, and if they can produce it just one more time, it would mean a perfect ending to the A-League's very own fairy tale. Big game best Bezart Barisha has never played in an A-League grand final and not scored in four appearances. No one gets up for the finals quite like Barisha, and a single strike this week would see him surpass Archie Thompson to become the most prolific player in the history of the league's postseason, 11, as well as in grand finals, 6. Basart Barisha of the victory celebrates his goal during the A-League elimination final source, AAAPA win for victory would see him become just the second player to win four championships behind only Michael Theo, who has five, that's my life, this is my game, I love these games. I want to be ready, I want to be ready for my club and my team. It just gives you more joy. You never know when your last game will be, Barisha said ahead of the match. He could well be the difference once again. The Omens Melbourne victory have won just once in their last 12 trips to McDonald Jones Stadium. However, historically, they are a different side come finals time, having won three of their five past grand finals with the other two going to penalties. 
the home team has won 9 of the 12 previous A-League deciders, with two of those losses having been played at neutral venues. The victory have lost 16 times to the Jets in 39 meetings, their most defeats against any side while that ranks as the Novocastrians' second-best record. Tough season makes victory final ready, Barisha 106 These two sides have met three times this season, with the home team winning on every occasion. Newcastle's 4-1 win over the victory remains the visitors' biggest loss of the season. No side finishing the regular season below second has ever won the grand final. The coach has master versus apprentice. Ernie Merrick and Kevin Muscat have won two championships together, but now they'll face off for the right for one to hoist the silverware. Muscat was captain as Merrick and the victory were crowned champions in 2006-07 and 2009-09, but now he gets the chance to equal his former mentor with a second of his own. Melbourne victory coach Ernie Merrick L. and Kevin Muscat celebrate victory in the A-League Grand Final match source, Getty Image S. The current Jets boss coached every one of his rivals 122 A-League matches while the pair have met 13 times in the dugout, there has never been a draw. Muscat 8 wins, Merrick 5 wins, it's said to be a thrilling clash, in past matches between sides coached by the pair there has been an average of 4 goals 52 scored in those 13 meetings. Merrick equals Graham Arnold for most grand final appearances as a coach with four and can become the first man ever to win three deciders should his Jets get the job done. An intriguing subplot to a tantalizing encounter.